So in the last part, we left off being able to extract the value of every link on the web page uh, and of any web page that we present to our crawler. So the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to deal with these different types of links. The first one should be fine because we can pass that directly to the file get contents function. But test.php we can't pass to it because that will mean PHP will start looking for test.php uh, on our local machine and we want it to look for that on the remote website that we're actually crawling. So the way we do that is we're going to just go back and we're going to create a variable called L and we're going to set it equal to the value of every href. So what we'll be doing essentially is doing a lot of string comparisons to find out whether or not we need to actually do anything to the links that we've been given. So the first type of link we're going to deal with is this one here with a forward slash at the beginning. So the way we do that is we use PHP's substring function. So we're going to say if substring of L, which is the string we want to check, and we want to start on the zeroth character, which is the first character, which is this forward slash. So we'll say the zeroth character, and we want to only go one character up, so we want to put in a one next to that. Then we're going to say is equal to a forward slash, which is this one here. So this will only target this link here, but it'll also target this link here and this link here because they also their first character is also a forward slash. So we need to put in a separate rule that says if the second character is also a forward slash, we want to treat that differently again. So then we say and substring of L uh, 0 to 2 doesn't equal two slashes, then we know we're only targeting links with one forward slash to begin with. So we're going to start off just by saying L is equal to L, and down here we're going to say echo L with a new line after it. So if I run this now, we will actually see no difference. You can see it looks exactly the same. But if I was to say L and I was to append something to the start of it, so just HTTPS, and I run this again, you can see now this link has HTTPS appended to the front of it and this link has HTTPS appended to the front of it because those are the only two links that are being targeted currently. So what we want to do is we want to make this into a full link. So because if we go up here, uh, you can see this is a link which is relative to the page we're starting, we've are starting. we started our crawling from. So this link essentially looks like this. So the way we do this is we're going to say, we're going to use the PHP parse URL function to append the URL scheme, which is this bit here, the HTTP um, colon forward slash forward slash part, onto the actual URL itself. We're using the parse URL function because we could just automatically append HTTP or HTTPS, but not every website is guaranteed to use one or the other. Some websites use HTTP and some use HTTPS. So we need to be able to figure out whether or not this website uses HTTP or HTTPS. So we're going to say parse URL. We're going to pass it URL, which is this variable here, and what this function returns is an associative array. So um, what an array is, is it's just a list of items that are indexed by numbers, but an associative array is a list where the indexes are actual words. So if I use the index called scheme, I can target just this part of the URL here. So what we've done is we've got that from the URL, and we're going to use the dot operator in PHP to append add uh, the two strings together. So let's run this again. And you can see now we have HTTP appended onto the front of each of these links. So all we need to do now is append on the colon and the forward slash. So let's just run this again and you'll see now we have the URL scheme added to the front of the link. The next and probably more important thing we have to get is the actual URL of the website itself. So to do that we just want to run this again, append that on, and we want to change this to host. The reason we're not just getting this string we've been passed and appending on a few characters or deleting a couple of characters or whatever is because it just makes things so much more complicated, it's so much easier just to break the uh, whole URL down with PHP's built in libraries to get the URL scheme and to get the host and we can even get this path if we want to as well. So let's run this again and you can see that's exactly what we're looking for. It says 
http colon four slash four slash localhost slash even more dot php and here we have it up here again we've added the localhost in and the proper the correct url scheme and we have the page um, name at the end of it so that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe and i'll see you next time